Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how my bullying experience affected me. Before in this channel, I've made videos talking about it, but in this video, I will go very in deep on my experiences, uh, things that happened during my experiences, and then I will talk about the outcome, uh, the positive, the negative that came out of my bullying experience. Now, as some of you guys know, I grew up in Guyana from birth all the way to age nine. I did experience bullying in Guyana, but I don't have too much of a memory of it. The only memory I have is uh, a memory that my dad told me of how uh, some kid was bullying me and I knew where he lived. So we went to his mother's house, um, told his mother, and then he got in trouble. That's the only bullying related memory I remember for Guyana. So I actually did experience bullying in Guyana, but I didn't really <laughs> have too much of a recollection of majority stuff. That's the only thing I remember. But when I came over here um, to American in 2012, uh, I experienced it a lot because we're coming over to a whole new um, country, not being adjusted to everything that's going on over here, being new to everything. And with me having the accent, um, I was very skinny and, you know, very dark skin, everything. I got I got bullied a lot when I first came over here and it, it was just it was just terrible. Um, I got hit a lot, slapped a lot, pushed down. Um, a lot of just mean name. And I remember uh, the Ebola virus was going on a lot at that time. And a lot of people thought I was from Africa. So all the African jokes was coming um, towards me. And then they started to uh, make the Ebola jokes. And they made the joke so much to the point where people thought I had it. And people used to um, just not want to be next to me. People used to run away from me, not want to sit where I was sitting, not want to be around my place, be around like my atmosphere or, or any area where I was at and just wouldn't sit near me. And I really just had no friend. Like I was just lonely each and every single day. I just going to school and it's a, a lot of situations that happened. The first situation I can remember happened is when I got pushed into a bathroom stall and like I fell to the floor. Um, and I remember I, I went, I went told my parents about that, told my parents about that. Uh, the kid that did that got in trouble. Um, another experience I can remember is when uh, we was playing outside on like in the parking lot uh, of the school because I think this was during summertime we could go outside and play. And I remember I got pushed down to the floor. And like when I felt like my face grazed the concrete to the point like my forehead was just bleeding, like blood was just covering in my face. I remember I had two people that had to take me to the um, nurse's office and um a heart aching experience just every single day just going through that being like physically and mentally abused and i remember i used to be crying myself to sleep um each and every night just crying myself to see just want want the pain to stop just want everything to stop to a point i was like with um god i was like god why are your people doing this to me like why why are your people is um attacking me why why are they doing this like i, I was so lonely i didn't have anybody to talk to and I don't remember anybody sticking up to me, sticking up for me for um those couple of years. I know there's one experience that I, one um incident that I do remember where somebody got sticked up for me. Uh, it was one of these teachers. I remember this was like the end of the day of school, and we were doing something, and uh, I passed by some girl, and she was like, "Uh, uh I want to be next to him. He got Ebola." And then the teacher stepped in and was like, "Does he have it? Do you know he have it?" No. And then that was like the first incident that I remember when somebody sticked up for me and like that teacher really sticked up for me. I don't know. I don't remember who the teacher was, but if you're watching this, shout out to you. Thank you so much for that. But um, it like my um first three years in America was just very bad because uh, I did the fourth grade the first time, went to summer school. I got held back and did fourth grade the second time. And with me being held back and everybody know that I got held back, that intensified my bullying experience. And my reading level wasn't that good at that time. And I remember they used to be showing your uh, reading level in class, like on one of them boards or whatever. And my reading level used to be up there. So the hell back jokes, the you can't read jokes, the how dark you are, how skinny you are, your accent joke. It was it was just like it was very painful just going through all of that. So I know when people ask me, would you ever want to go back uh, and relive uh, elementary school? I would not. <laughs> I, I honestly would not go and relive um, elementary school because it's so much pain, so much, it's just so much heartache and stuff happened. Um, another incident, 
two students came to my house to fight me. Uh, I remember that day. It was in the afternoon. School was about to over. And I remember one of my friends, Darren, he told me, he was like, yo, these two dudes are about to beat you up. Go home. And I remember as soon as we got let out, I sprint. I ran home. I think I forgot my coat. It was cold that day. I ran home. Good thing my house was like two blocks away from my school. I ran home and got inside. And I think like 20 minutes later, I hear my bell pressing. And this is a voice thing. So I press, I'm like, who is it? And they, they, you know, the two people that was coming after me was at my house, at my door, pressing my bell and stuff like that. And I remember they got in trouble for that. But it's just a lot, a lot of the experience with like um bullying for um elementary school. It was just real hard. Like I was so excited to get out of elementary school when I graduated. I did end up going to summer school because I went to summer school all three years of me being in elementary school um in America. Uh, from the first year, then this, the first year when I got held back, then the second year when I repeated to um, fourth grade, went to summer school again and passed, then fifth grade went to summer school passed. So I was very happy when I got out of um, elementary school because it's just the, um, the pain, the hurt, the amount of names being called, the amount of times I got uh, uh, hit, the amount of times I got pushed down. As I mentioned before, the situation where I got pushed to the floor, my, 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 um, my whole face was like blood like it was just bleeding down and um stuff like that so it was just um a very painful experience for me for um elementary school i've went back to the school there so it, it's you know um i'm not afraid to go back to that school or um when i go in there like all the pain and stuff that i felt in there it don't come back to my memory because i went there at least i think like four times so far um when i was still living in new york and stuff like that but I couldn't wait to get out of that school because it's it's just so much pain in that school like I'm telling you guys I was I was going to bed crying at night just asking God like God like just could you stop could you just stop the pain the hurt everything that was coming after me because I didn't do nothing to nobody I'm just new um I don't even know how this place is I don't know the lingo all that and it was it was very just crazy and a very traumatic uh, experience. And moving on to um, middle school, middle school, um, I, I I got bullied in middle school too. I think like my first uh, couple months in there, yeah, and I got bullied in like um, sixth grade too. And uh, uh, I ended up starting my channel, uh, my main channel, in sixth grade to be able to help people that was getting bullied, people to uh give them advice give them wisdom while i was still experiencing it myself and i, I just kept making um my videos because i just really wanted to uh, reach out to people i just really wanted to save a life and in six days while i was being while i was being bullied uh it still hurt still going to bed crying stuff like that and then it just kept pounding in my head all the hurt all the pain and i remember i had a a, a I had suicidal thoughts at that point um doing through the experience because I was hurting a lot and I didn't have um anybody to to talk to about anybody to went to about anybody to um comfort me about the situation and the stuff that I was going through at the time I remember like at night it, it was just at night when I'm in my bed it was just running through my head running through my head running through my head and I just kept trying to push it out and I remember this one night it just ran through the thought of suicide ran through my head um a lot a lot and like just I was deep thinking in like how I was gonna do it, uh when I was gonna do it the time, the day it was like I was I was planning everything out in my mind. And right when I was about to um go into the action of you know committing suicide and thing, the thought came to my head of um if you do this, who is gonna do the job that you wanna do? Because with starting YouTube, I wanted to motivate kids. I wanted to um be that encouragement for them i wanted to be that person for them that i didn't have for me and the thought just came to my head if you're not here who is going to do that for them because the whole reason that you making this channel is to be able to save somebody for, from doing what you're about to do and that thought just kept blinging in my head blinging in my head blinging in my head and i'm like i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it and any other time from then where the thoughts just come in my head, I just told myself, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And in a way, I say that YouTube really saved my life because at the time doing YouTube, making my videos gave me a reason to not go through with everything. And this is something that I've never talked about because I've always been um, ashamed of it. 
because I felt like that was weak. I felt like me having those thoughts, me about to do, I just felt like this that just weak and I just didn't want to see um anyone anybody, I didn't want nobody to see me as weak. So I, I never talked about it. I've always talked about my experiences, what I've went through, but the um the almost committed suicide part, I've never um opened up about that on YouTube. I think only one person in my life personally know about that. So um this is my first time talking about it and and yeah, I just never wanted to talk about it because I felt like it showed that I was weak. But um, after I got out of that mindset, uh, you know, thoughts kept coming to my head. So it still came to my head after that. But I just told myself I'm not going to do it because I want to be able to motivate these kids. I want to be able to save a life. I want to be able to save somebody from doing what I was about to do. And uh, and then towards the end of sixth grade, um, while I was getting bullied, my mindset changed to um, where... I got tired of everything going on. I'm like, I changed my mindset to, if any, I changed my mindset to, I'm never going to let nobody else do this to me. I'm never going to let this happen to me. So if I got to change my mindset, change what I was doing, my mindset changed to the point where I'm never, I'm never going to let nobody do this to me. And I became a very rude, mean, and vicious person um, towards, like, in sixth grade, either the middle or the end towards sixth grade. I, my attitude changed. I was... I was fighting a lot. I was cursing people out. I just I was getting at anybody that I felt try me because through of because through of going through all those experiences of being bullied from all the times I got hit, all the times I got slapped, the time I got pushed down on the floor and my you know my head was bleeding and stuff. To all all the mean things that I heard, I'm like I'm never gonna let nobody do that to me. So I just became a very mean and vicious person um, to the point where I felt that anybody that tried me was gonna get was gonna get um was gonna get it whether uh, we gonna fight or i'm gonna curse you out that that was my mentality at that point i, I didn't want nobody to put me back in that situation because i'm like this got me to a point where i almost took my own life i'm not i'm never gonna let nobody get me back to that point so i just became a very rude rude mean and vicious person i was constantly getting in trouble like all all the time i was constantly getting in trouble it got so bad to the point where i became the bully i became the person that i did not want to be i became the person that others was to me and I became that bully as a result of having that switch mentality that mean that vicious mentality of of if anybody try me don't they're gonna get it and I got into so much trouble um I ended up I was bullying people and stuff like that and through through as I was doing my action the thoughts came to my head of what if somebody do commit suicide or who you bullying them that thought just kept ringing in my head. And I'm like, I got to stop. Because I'm like, I don't want to be the reason why somebody's not here no more. And that thought just kept blinging to my head. It was, um at that time, it wasn't relating back to the point where I um, almost, you know, took my life and stuff. It, didn't, it wasn't relating to that, but it just related to the fact that what if somebody do that? And after that, I just, I, I changed it. I stopped bullying people, but I didn't change my mindset at that point. I stopped bullying people, but I didn't change my mindset. I was still, like, a mean and, like, vicious person. I was still thinking, but, uh, and stuff like that. But I, I just, the people that I know that I was bullying at that point, I just stopped it and thing. And I really changed and became a good person towards um eighth grade because I've been going to church all my life. I've been a Christian all my life. And I knew the way I was living, I was living wrong because at that time, so I started motivational. I started being a motivational speaker in 2015. I started preaching in 2017 and this was eighth graders. That's 2018. So at this time I'm preaching, um, I'm preaching, I'm doing motivational speaking. I'm sending the word out through preaching and motivational speaking. And I just felt like, how are you going to try to give these words to these people and you're not living right? And that thought just kept blinging in my head, blinging in my head, just like before with um, if somebody missed suicide off my beard, it kept just blinging in my head, blinging in my head. I'm like, I got to change. So do do with the help of God, praying, reading, like my mentors, people around me, I, I began to change and I just wanted to be that better person. I no longer wanted to be the person that um was always in trouble or always had that bad rep because I had a bad rep wherever I went. Um, Everybody know that as on no play, like, you got to keep eyes on me. I was that kid where you had to keep eyes on me because if you didn't keep eyes on me, you know, bad things could happen. <laughs> and 
um i I just i was just a really mean vicious kid and i just didn't care i was going to get everybody and i changed it thank god i did that uh eighth grade i changed it eighth grade i I did get into a little bit of trouble not as much um and then ninth grade less trouble 10th grade less trouble uh and then 11th grade and up no trouble at all i did get into some trouble in ninth grade some trouble in eighth grade some trouble in 10th grade but um it was a it was a process of growing but um the the positive you know what? i'll start off with the negative effect the negative effects of my bullying experience is that um it led me into becoming the bully the bully and ha- being that mean vicious person and also it got to a point where i couldn't take jokes from people because with me hearing all them jokes um, all them years because it was sort of it's a total of six years I spent winning and um when me hearing all those things that people said to me it got to a point where I just couldn't handle jokes I remember like when people say some type of jokes to me I look at them some type of way like I couldn't handle jokes I just had that mean demeanor if I felt like somebody was going to attack me I'm attack them so I got to that point where I just had that mean vicious thing um about myself so it was negative that came out of my um experience and i'm still i'm still working still working through um that each and every single day because it's a work in progress with us with um <laughs> with us i say it's with me the work in progress with me and then the positive effect that came out of it is the start of my channel um i started youtube due to my bullying experience um and me starting youtube led to me becoming a motivational speaker becoming a preacher becoming a videographer an editor a um graphic designer all the titles that i have today came through the creation of my channel and my purpose statement and what i want to do in life came through the creation of my channel and the creation of my channel came through my brilliant experience it, it came out of that experience and i just learned that you may go through something but then it, it may end up being a blessing like those six years that I went through bullying, it became a blessing because I was able to start my, I was able to create my channel. I was able to get into motivational speaking, preaching, editing, being a videographer, being a graphic designer, um, reaching out to so many people, having so many conversations. Um, even though the root of what I'm doing comes from a bad place, it ended up being a blessing. And I just want everybody to know that uh, the root of what you do may be um come from a hurtful place maybe a bad thing but it could end up be a blessing into your life and that that's exactly what me my experience and that became a blessing um in my life and i'm still healing from my experience uh last year i learned about how my experience affected me i learned about how um i couldn't be able i couldn't take certain jokes because i felt like i was being attacked i learned why i became that mean and vicious person um i learned uh, many aspects of myself um, came through my bullying experience, both positive and negative. My ability to be able to speak um, so openly, to be able to use my voice came from my bullying experience because I felt like my voice was shut. I felt like my voice was taken away from me because I'm the youngest sibling um, out of five. So, you know, the youngest sibling, they, they don't really be trying to hear your voice. So I was already feeling that way uh, kind of growing up. But then with the bullying experience, it just added on to me. I felt like my voice is useless and my voice was taken away from me but my experience gave me that drive to be able to use my voice for the greater good um my boldness my openness like a, a lot of aspect of me today came through my experience so even though it was a bad experience which led to many nights of crying which led to the suicide of dust which led to me becoming that mean vicious person it ended up being a blessing because i changed who I am. I'm a, I'm a changed person today. I'm not who I am before. There's this song that said the things I used to do, I do them no more. And I don't, I'm, I'm no longer that person. I'm not, I'm not that mean, vicious person. I'm not that no more. And I won't ever go back to that person because the old me got me in so many trouble. Uh, it got me in so much trouble. It was so much people I had to apologize to because that mindset that I created, of being mean and vicious, I was only supposed to, I created it to use it in school, but that mindset went to church, um, it went to camp, it just went, it was, that mindset basically became me, so wherever I was at, um, if I felt like you tried me, we was going to fight, I was going to curse you out, so that mindset 
became a part of my life and all the areas of my life it affected it because I wasn't I wasn't just only getting in trouble in school I was getting in trouble at home I was getting in trouble at church I went to camp getting in trouble at camp like I was just bad all around everybody knew me um at that point for being bad for always getting in trouble like Ezra when the name Ezra pops up it, it's always some negative thing towards it and even though that occurred, I learned from my ways and uh, I was able to change it. I was able to apologize to people. I was able to um, recognize my wrong. And I haven't fully um, apologized to a lot of people. There's a couple more people that I need to apologize to for my past actions and my past behavior. But it's all, all a part of um, all a part of the process. And I just keep growing. And I was just able to um, learn. So my bullying experience did um, have many positives, many negative, um, but overall it was a blessing and I don't regret it. Uh, would I, would I live through it again? No, I won't. Um, I would, I would never want to live through that experience. I'm thankful for it, but I would never want to live through my experience again. Cause there was just so much pain, so much hurt. And I remember like last year when I was, um, learning more about how my past affect, how my past became me, how my past affected me. I remember like I was crying, talking about some of those experiences. As I talk about the experience today, I'm good. I could talk about it while I'm crying, but I remember I was crying. I was in tears when I was talking about them experience when them people was beating me up, when them people was, when they pulled up to my house to fight me, all that. I was crying. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to lie to you. I was crying. Like my eyes was pouring down um, due to the experience. So, there uh, I found out how those experiences um affected me because before I never really paid too much attention to like how my experience affected me but uh, I had to learn that it affected me both in negative and positive way the um blessing of my channel the blessing of every single thing that I do now it came out of that but um it's always it's, we also got to the negative and I, I felt like that was very important I didn't just want to sit here and tell you guys all the positive I wanted to make sure that I tell you guys the negative it's both negative and positive that came out of my experience um and I've talked I've talked with my mentors my friends all of that so I make sure that any area um that I need help with go along with the journey of healing from those experience I got people around me that's there for me helping me and I thank them so much for just doing that and I'm not in this journey by myself I got my people around me but the experience overall became a blessing but even though I had positive and negative to it it was overall um a blessing on to my life as I said before I wouldn't relive this um I wouldn't relive it and just, just too much pain, too much hurt in there to to relieve to relive some of those situations. And there's a lot of things that I forget. Um, a lot of things I mentioned today is just stuff that I was very notable to me and stuff that I can't forget. But it's a lot more things. It's a lot more things um that happened during those experiences. And I just it just felt like I, I was very lonely. I was just very lonely, just didn't have people because um I didn't talk about this earlier, but um during that experience it was to a point where I hated myself honestly because I I felt like I was being persecuted for being myself I was being hated for being myself nobody wanted to be around me nobody wanted to be my friend people just hated me people just didn't like me it got to a point where I truly inside hated myself I'm like I'm like let me I want to be somebody else I don't want to be me because being me it's like I'm I'm being I'm getting consequences for being me. It was to a point that I did not want to be me. I did not love me. I even like looking at the mirror, seeing me. Um, to a point of how bad that got, and um, just I was able to get out of my that mindset. Like I just felt like I was ugly because that was the like main thing people was telling me every single day. You ugly, you ugly. And after you hear something so much, it start to penetrate into your mind, and you start to believe it. And I started to. Uh, it started to penetrate in my mind and I started to believe it to a point where I was like, yeah, I'm ugly. Like I, I, I just truly didn't care. Um, I just truly hated myself. And that also played a part into why um, the suicide thoughts that played into a part with it. So it's a lot of um, negatives that came out of it. There's a lot more story to it, but I just wanted to give you guys a little, um, uh, uh, a thorough insight my experience um what happened and how it became a blessing onto my life and if you're going through anything right now just know that your experiences in life are meant to happen because they are there to make you the person that you're going to be in the future 
My experience made me the person that I am today. My experience made me so fearless. My experience made me so outspoken. My experience made me, made me, me. And I'm thankful for it overall. I'm thankful for the blessing of it. Wouldn't we live it? But I'm thankful for the blessing of it. I hope this video was able to be a blessing unto you guys. You guys to hear about my experiences from the positive, the negative, suicidal thoughts, to the loneliness, to um, me being so motivated, to me being so happy and overall, the overall experience. I just thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you feel like somebody needs this video, go ahead and share it with them. Um, I try to be as much open with you guys because these are all the things that I personally remember. Um, I know I've know I've done videos about this, but I've I've never went this in depth into my experiences. But I wanted to make sure that I go in depth and tell you guys that story because Lord brought brought it on my heart to tell me, uh, to tell my story, uh, unto people because I've told it, but I've been fully in depth told it. So I just wanted to tell the story on um to everybody and yeah, I just thank you guys for just being with me. Uh, this year made a year for the channel. All right, we're going to keep on going. I have a lot more videos planned for you guys, a lot more videos that will come out. And, yeah, if you could connect with my experience or you just want to hit me up, have a conversation with me, my social medias are always uh, in the link below, my Facebook, my IG, my TikTok. Hit me right there. Uh, I'll be open to have a conversation with you guys. If you got any feedback, anything, just hit me on my social media. And, yeah. Just thank you guys for watching this video. This was my video on how my brilliant experience affected me, both in a positive and negative way. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is it for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Please turn on your post notification. That way, anytime I upload a video, YouTube will send your notification. This is Motivation for Young Christian. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>